This is The Simpit. I'm your guest host, Dave Blair, but the real star of today's show is my gaming room. And I'm shooting this around Christmas of 2020, and hopefully all of you out there are getting some new sim gear for Christmas. Now, I'm going to go over my setup that I have here, and I have set this up mainly for sim racing and sim racing in VR. The other thing I do in here is I do some work, but mainly watch movies and YouTube. I play Xbox, and I play uh, PC games. Uh, the games that I normally play are like Gears of War, Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto, uh, games like that. I don't play first-person shooters anymore, so if you're a first-person shooter guy, um, I would not be using a 55-inch TV. I would be using a 27-inch uh, 1440p high refresh rate monitor if I was still into first-person shooters, which I'm not. Um, that is for the younger kids that have faster reflexes than me. I prefer a little more strategy in my games. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to take the camera and get behind it now, and I'm going to go over some of the different things that I have here and the reason why I decided to set up my room this way. So now we're going to start off with my uh, sim rig here. It's a SimLab uh, GT1 Evo cockpit. Um, there is my HP Reverb G2, which is what I'm using for my VR. And you can see I have the Thrustmaster load cell pedals, um, Thrustmaster wheel. Now, I do want to get a better um, force feedback steering wheel, but like a lot of you, I find it really difficult to spend money on um, stuff unless I'm sure that it's what I want. So... While I'm doing some research on that, I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. Now, the one complaint that I had about the uh, GT1 Evo cockpit was it sits really low to the ground. Now, I went with the, um, the hardback um, NRG seat, and I really like it, but being in the sim rig, it sits really low to the ground, the GT1 Evo. Now, I used to have it slid under my desk as close as I could, but I've decided uh, to mount a single screen, which is a 43-inch 4K TV, and I use that for games that don't support VR. Uh, Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon, I'm looking at you. Um, but yeah, so once you mount the TV and all your stuff to this rig, it gets really heavy. And when I added the shifter, it was like I had to constantly drag this thing out from under the desk and then lift it and put it back under, and it just was really heavy. So following Sean Cole and uh, his movable platform idea, I went ahead and went to uh, Home Depot, and I got these lockable wheels. Now, these are 5-inch caster wheels, and I have four of them um, on the rig so that I can easily move it and lock it down once I have it done, but it makes life so much easier and it also brings the the seat up and it's so much easier to get in and out of. It's kind of difficult to show on the video here, but um, there's a, also I have a seat slider under there, but um, yeah, just getting in and out of the rig when it sat so low to the ground was very difficult. So again, um, you can see I have a boom mic if you guys are going to do any live streaming or anything like that, um, I just find it really nice to have uh, a better microphone than what comes with most uh, headsets. And then um, it's on an articulating arm, and so is this min middle monitor. Now, this monitor can swing over here if I'm doing work and I need the extra monitor, or if I'm playing games. This is a 55-inch TV, uh, 4K um, but yeah, if you, if you see here, I have the, uh, this monitor in the middle, it's off the table so I can put, put other things here like my keyboard or my mouse when I'm over here racing and it allows me to tilt this back and forth. So again, I can swing it to whatever side I need it. And that's where usually the screen I have like Discord on or things like that, that I, I have my extra stuff on. And if I'm running VR, that TV is off altogether. And I just run with one screen because I don't want it taking up uh, resources trying to push a 4K TV on top of the VR. 
anyway, so I set my computer up here, and you can see my Xbox is right next to it. But, um, yeah, so if I'm running in VR, I usually unplug uh, the two TVs and just leave in this one monitor. And you can see here how it's on the arm. Um, and then I plug in my VR headset. So I'm constantly unplugging and plugging things in. So I just thought it'd be easier if I ran the computer so that the back was facing out so that I could uh, plug in and unplug things as I needed. Um, now, again, I want to come over here. Instead of an office chair, I found this much more enjoyable. Um, by the way, that's a Brother printer, and it's uh, fantastic. That thing's a relic, but um, it's like a tank. It just keeps on printing. Um, I've decided to go with a recliner, and you can see I have a mouse wired. It's on an extender. Um, I have an extender for the keyboard also, and I can slide that. Um, this is just a TV tray that you can find. This is like 20 bucks or something like that, and it works really well. I can pull it up either beside me or in front of me. Um, but yeah, I sit in the recliner. There is my uh, play seat challenge that I started on. And um, basically, I, I spend a lot of time here watching movies or watching YouTube or playing video games other than sim racing. And again, I can bring this other monitor over. I can have Discord there if I want while I'm watching that other stuff. And I cannot tell you how much better this is um, being in a recliner in front of your computer screen. Um, this really works for me. I can do work from there and everything else. Now, a lot of people are buying that LG C10 TV uh, because it has the HDMI 2.1, but um, I don't know. It's they, they sit right on top of it. And for a large screen display, you kind of need to be sitting away from it. So if you look at the size of my icons down here, um, if you go in here to display settings, now if I were to uh, get up closer. If I if I had some um, if I had some things that I wanted to do work wise, I could change this resolution down and make it a hundred percent. And you see how much smaller everything gets. And then you can see how small the icons are down here. But you'd want to shrink that down if you were closer up to. Uh, the TV. So I could push that TV back. I could put my mouse up on the mouse pad there and move the keyboard and bring in an office chair and I could sit in front of it. But um, really, you don't need to do that. If you have a big display, it's much better to sit back from it where you can see the whole thing. And again, just bring, um, you know, change your, your uh, everything on your screen and make it larger. So if you see how big everything is now, you know, you can very comfortably sit back here and read email. Um, all the icons are much bigger. And yeah, you can work from a recliner, which is what I do. And uh, it's really enjoyable. Um, again, I watch a lot of movies, YouTube from here. Um, this setup over here for the sim racing is very flexible. Um, you know, that center screen just swivels back and forth. I can put my keyboard up there where my headset is and uh, my mouse and reach everything. Um, but this is this whole thing here is kind of like a little U setup and it all faces the recliner, which is the most important thing. Um, yeah, so this is my setup. Hopefully you all got some ideas out of it. Um, if you're going with the GT1 Evo, I would recommend getting the biggest casters you can on it and uh, raising that up. It's so much easier to get in and out of um, again, if I were going to go with the triple monitor setup, um, I would have done things differently. I'd probably get three 27 inch TVs, maybe 32 inch, but I wouldn't go crazy because the bigger the TV, um, I tried to put this 55 inch on the sim rig. And what happened was it won't go down low enough. So you're kind of looking up at it. You're not centered on the TV. The 43 inch that I have on there right now is about the biggest I'd want to go. Um, you know, because you, as you can see, you want to get it as close to your face as possible, but the wheel starts to get in the way. So it kind of limits on how big you can go. Um, 
Now I could go bigger and push the thing away from me, but then you're getting diminishing returns in my opinion. So you kind of want to find the right TV where your eyes are kind of centered um, up and down on the TV and don't go above that. Otherwise you're just going to be looking up at an angle and you're kind of ruining your field of view. So again, mainly set up for um, VR and I'm really enjoying uh, doing racing seasons and iRacing and uh, Dirt Rally 2 uh, race room and Assetto Corsa Competition. So they all support VR, although I am struggling right now in ACC to run it in VR, but I have a new computer on order. And so hopefully that will uh, allow me to run that game much, much better. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Please hit the thumbs up button and uh, share this video with a friend. Thank you.